We did it! And we're back to live audio. We're doing it. It's a thing. I finally took out those, uh, fellows. Oh, don't worry, Solaire. I will not hesitate. I think he's hitting on me. I am fortunate. Right? So he says the same thing if you're a guy, so a lot of people think Solaire is gay. Oh, you're silly laugh, Solaire. You're so silly. Oh, wait. Uh, got anything else to say there, Solaire? So, as we learned. Oh, good talking to you, Solaire. Always a pleasure. So, let's see. So, now we are in <clears throat> Advanced in Orlando. And there's going to be a lot of crazy knights here that are going to try to kill us. And we are on a mission to find Havel's gear. I'm going to set this dude on fire. He doesn't want none of this. Once you have Havel's gear... Oh, something like that. These are not useful. Not for me. If I was in the Warriors of... A lot of background noise, I think. Maybe getting picked up. It's very possible. If you can hear stuff in the background, my sincere apologies. Things are happening in my house. <coughs> so I had to look up Oh Jiminy Jillikers. This man is going to get set on fire. So that's the advantage of the lightning spear is fire and lightning kills basically everything in the game. These guys drop some sort of titanite, I'm not sure which, but there's all kinds of neat crap in this part of Anor Orlando. Uh, I'll make sure to talk about it in the other part where... Oh? Secrets revealed? Uh, the best leveling spot in the game if you're a pyromancer and you have the chaos spells is further back, not quite where we're at, but there's all kinds of neat items you can get and all kinds of neat uh, people to fight. One of these here, I know is a mimic. I can feel it in my bones. Oh god, it's so sexy. Have a sexy beast. I don't know if I'll be able to use the shield though, because it requires some stupidly high amount of strength. But uh, there's also a secret boss, which I'll talk about eventually, once I uh, finish this part. And you can even use his, uh, his weapon. Yeah. I knew that you were there. Set your dumb ass on fire. Fire. Yeah. Yeah, nerd. You like it. You love it. God, I hate mimics so much. But they always drop really neat. Oh, I've been invaded. It finally is happening. So this is Havel's little secret hideout. Havel has a neat story. He worked for the gods and then betrayed them. And that's why he has occult weaponry. This guy couldn't have invaded at a more opportune time. Of course, now I'm out of fireballs, but... Where's this fella at? Is he lost? Huh? Huh? The greatest of standoffs. Hi. Sadly, I don't have many more of those. He's gonna try to trick me into doing something stupid, so... Let's see what else... Oh, no. On this side. Well, he knows where I'm headed. What he does not know is that I have a lightning spear. And I'm not afraid to use it. He's going to try to get the uh, knights up here to tag team me. Which I don't know. Is he over there? Oh, God. Oh, that was dumb. Supremely dumb, even. Super runaway. What have I done? What horrors hath I wrought? I forget if there's anything secret over here. Where did that guy go? Nah. 
I don't feel like getting gang banged right now. Takeshi's not really into that kind of thing. What a doucher. He just runs away. I threw a fireball at him. Uh oh. Some, something is happening somewhere. Uh oh. More of those. They're, they're archers. So that was probably the most frustrating part of the game, but... I think we can knock some of these guys out. Uh -huh, yeah. Even though we're low on fireballs. Our elite agility will prevail. Ah. Yeah. Well, where did that man go off to? He literally just ran away. What a nerd. Oh, there's Sigmire. He's alive. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's gonna try to poison me. This is probably not going to go well. <laughs> Your parry sucks. He's not even doing enough damage to me. Oh. That's why you don't Estus Flask in the middle of a fight. He got me. Or she. I guess it's a lady samurai. Invaders are dicks. Super dicks. If I had more fireballs, that might have gone away. Alright. Super good. Alright. Back where we started. Let's find. Turns out it's pretty legit. We've also found Siegmeyer. This guy's always sad. He's always, like, getting shut down. Also, Havel's gear really legit. We can and we will. I don't know what he's planning. What else you gotta say, Sigmar? Alright, good talk. So you get a lot of random coins. I have no idea what their purpose is. Oh, this is less than ideal. You gotta backstab these guys. Oh no! See him here. You stay away from him, you monsters. This is proper bollocks. Damn, I'm getting like ass warped. Yeah. That is uh what we in the business call getting your ass whooped on. Yeah. Trauma one at a time, you have a much better chance of not getting straight murdered. I was able to backstab one earlier, but. I try to use as little skill as possible. That's why I'm playing as this dude with huge ass armor and a lightning spear that doesn't scale with stats. So you can just pump it all in two. Oh, boom. And that's why. If you learn how to backstab and parry, you can do really well. I just need more endurance so that I'm not getting absolutely decimated. I also need a better shield, but. This gentleman here is a royal sentinel, and soon enough, we will have his armor as well. Demon Titanite, use it to level up demon weapons. 
Where are we even at? I'm like kind of lost right now. Oh, we're back towards the beginning. I think we... I'm not sure if we have to kill those knights. Let's head back to the bar. We're almost done exploring. And I fought a bunch of those mimics, so let's see. Turns out it's pretty legit. We've also found Siegmeier. This guy's always sad. He's always, like, getting shut down. Also, Havel's gear really legit. We can and we will. I don't know what he's planning. What else you gotta say, Sigmar? Alright, good talk. So you get a lot of random coins. I have no idea what their purpose is. Oh, this is less than ideal. You gotta backstab these guys. Oh no! Sigmar! You stay away from him, you monsters. This is proper bollocks. God damn, I'm getting my ass warped. Yeah. That is uh what we in the business call getting your ass whooped on. Yeah. Trauma one at a time, you have a much better chance of not getting straight murdered. I was able to backstab one earlier, but I try to use as little skill as possible. That's why I'm playing as this dude with huge ass armor and a lightning spear that doesn't scale with stats. So you just pump it all into. Oh, boom. And that's why. If you learn how to backstab and parry, you can do really well. I just need more endurance so that I'm not getting absolutely decimated. I also need a better shield, but. This gentleman here is a royal sentinel, and soon enough, we will have his armor as well. Demon Titanite, Knight, use it to level up demon weapons. Where are we even at? I'm like, kind of lost right now. Oh, we're back towards the beginning. I think we... I'm not sure if we have to kill those knights. Let's head back to the bar. We're almost done exploring. And I fought a bunch of those mimics, so let's see. So we're towards the end of An Orlando, and there's those royal sentinels. They're super scary, and they guard the boss entrance, which is right up there. In a hot minute, I'm going to show you why I came to An Orlando. Well, I already showed you why I got Havel's gear, and that's pretty much the sole reason to come here. Oh, my phone's going off so unprofessional. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But, you can find all kinds of neat crap. I don't want to go down here yet. Mm. I want to meet the giant blacksmith first. Giant blacksmith can upgrade all kinds of crap for you. And you can completely bypass all those guys. You have to fight that guy if you want to come through this way. There's a silver knight. I think the silver knights were the super elite. They guard in Orlando. I think they may be an illusion. It's weird that there's demons here. I think it has to do with the fact that there's a guy that is bolstering the defenses of Van Orlando. What's up, Thelma? I would like to, yes. That would be very great. So he can upgrade your stuff, he can upgrade your lightning, or turn things into lightning. Can I actually, can you do anything that can help me right now? And let's, re let's repair all of our stuff. Do, 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 do. But he sells large Titanite shards and Twinkling Titanite. Granted, it's not cheap, but it's pretty legit. What's the... Oh, I need to be super strong for that. I may use that anyway. What else we got? Yes, the Giant's gear, I probably will end up using. I don't know if it's that much heavier than the stuff I'm currently wearing, but once you fully upgrade it, it's really super good. 
And I don't use that word often. Super good. Can I reinforce it now? What do you need to reinforce it? I need a lot of twi twinkling type knight. So it's very expensive. But, oh Jesus. And you don't want to hit him, because if you hit any of the NPCs, they go crazy and try to kill you. I had a guy try to do that to me, and I was... He tried to, uh, goad me into attacking this giant blacksmith, and I wasn't having it. I just ran away and waited him for him to get bored, because I'm not losing... That giant blacksmith is more valuable than any amount of souls an invader can get you, because you can ascend weapons to lightning. I don't think I explained modifying weapons, but... You need embers, and you gotta take them to various guys, and some guys do certain things, and other guys do other things. It's much easier if you just look at a chart. You gotta power them up a little bit, then take them there. Let's... Let's see what's going on over here. That really should hurt you. I'm, so, I'm kinda surprised it doesn't. Dragon Slayer, great bow. Pretty sweet. How do I get down from here? Am I stuck here now? Okay. Let's do this in a manner that doesn't get us straight murdered. And not straight murdered. A great success. We really have to unlock this door, though. That is the basis of all this, because now we have more or less completed in Orlando outside of killing the boss. You can easily access this area, the giant blacksmith, and you get to the boss room rather easily. Stab these guys a bunch. So I'm not sure if I'm going to run back to that. I've fully explored just about everything. I don't know if there's much else left to get, but I would like to get that stone armor and power it up. So, so it's a good thing we have the ability to get a massive amount of souls from the Royal Garden. But I would like to take out this, the bosses here, which are, in my opinion, the hardest bosses in the game. Ornstein and Smoog. I'll talk about them when I get to them. <clears throat> Is this? Tiny chunks. Okay. I might be able to upgrade my, my spear now. Oh, that's useful. So, that's pretty much... There's a couple more things in Anor Londo that I'll show you after I beat Hornstein Smooth. A couple of secret uh, areas. If you have the uh, Peculiar Doll, you can go to the Painted World. Uh, Arian Arianus? Arianus? Which is very great. And you can. F I'll show you how to get to the secret box. Trying something a little bit differently here. Let's see if it works. I brought in Solaire and a helper. They may have been left behind. Oh, Hobo Jesus fell. Don't go after... Yeah. Dang it. Hornstein. Like, stop. Alright. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. Please stop rocking solar space off. I beg of you. Yeah. Alright. So my buddy Hobo Jesus351 was vanquished, but we're gonna we're gonna go the opposite route here and take out Smoke second. Yeah, he's a dick! So now he gains some resistance to lightning, or electricity, if you're in the modern age. But we still have Solaire. Solaire, come on, dude. 
but we do way more damage to him. You just gotta avoid that move. Which I did a poor job there. Uh, solar did not last long. This may be... I'm amazed that that hit me. I would have liked to have that other guy with me, but... Beggars cannot be choosers. Yes. Yes, eh? Stabbing his hammer is not effective. Oh my gosh. This is so infuriating. Jesus, I'm getting my ass pushed in. One of the rare instances where the Lightning Spear will fail you. Yeah. We're, we're doing some damage. I'm, I'm feeling good. We can keep him doing this. We might be okay. Oof. That, not as much. Oh, come on. After a couple failures with Ornstein and Smoke, decided to change things up a bit. We're gonna go after Law Trek. <coughs> One of the coolest sequences in the game. You can only do it in Orlando, so. We can stack our Estus flasks, and then I'm probably actually going to go back and take out some other bosses and then come back to Ornstein and Smoke, because I'm getting my wiener pushed in pretty hard. Truly, he is guilty. I think he talks some smack. Whatever the opposite of well is, is what this is. Forgot you can't use Estesticuses here. And that mage just made me his girlfriend. So now we gotta be creative. Fantastic. Yeah, I only... Okay. Back in the Royal Forest. Royal Forest. That's what it is before it gets destroyed. We're gonna fight Great, great Grey Wolf Sif again in the Dark Root Basin. We are in a much better place now, though. We have way more defense and a lightning spear. And he probably really doesn't want any of this. See, I can I can even absorb that. Dang. Dog is weak to fire. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see if we can uh, just... I don't know if I even want to use the lightning spear or just chuck fireballs at him. Dang. Eat fire. I'm gonna go Michael Vick up in this. That's still relevant, isn't it? That's, that's still a thing that happened. People are still mad about that. Ah. I don't even have to I don't even have to use caution. I can just chuck fireballs all day and Hal's gear is just so sexy. Wish that there wasn't as much like delay when you're chucking the fireballs. Oh god. I might end up getting myself killed because I'm not Let's just uh do this conventionally. Great Great Wolf's if if you have a, your uh if you beat the DLC and you get Artorius's armor, and you wear it for this fight, you get a little extra special cutscene. Goddamn. Stop stabbing between his legs. Uh, maybe we can go to you into... There we go. Okay. We're doing a great job of missing. Ow. Ow. The Great Grey Wolf does not give up without a fight. Neither do I. Ow. Oh, no, he's hurt. This fight, like, breaks my heart. He's just a dog trying to do dog things. And all he wants you to do is just not go to the abyss. That's all he wants you to not do. But you're going there anyway. You have a job to do. Soul Sif, you can actually make the Great Sword of Artorias or the Great Shield. But you definitely want the great sword. It is legit and sexy. I don't even know. This is... Hornet Ring is Artorius's ring, and you learn a little bit more. I think it's Artorius. It should be. And you learn a, bit, a little bit more about him. 40,000 souls richer. Let's get out of here and take out some more bosses. So we're going to finish up the depths here. I freaking hate this place. hate everything about it. Gross. Everything here just. There's very little items of worth. <laughs> you get the. Once you save the dude that can teach you pyromancy, you just get the H out of here. Although these rats do drop humanity, which is very helpful. But. I didn't even save up the bonfire up there, so hopefully this goes well because. Uh, I'll be getting zapped all the way back to. I think Andre. God damn it. I was hoping that I was closer to the boss before I started this recording. Bah, bah, bah. He shouldn't be too much of a hassle, though. This is actually the area you're supposed to go to second, but, you know. I do what I want. Oh, God. That didn't work at all. And just avoid these guys, because they can cause curse. Oh, sweet. I'm hopelessly lost. These basilisks are the worst thing. The absolute worst. Have I wandered too far? Jesus. I refuse to get cursed. God, I hate these stupid... I hate everything here. Everything here is just, like, it's not even like a fight, it's just getting poisoned, or... Uh, Ring of the Evil Eye, kind of neat. But I don't want the Ring of the Evil Eye, I want this stupid guy's... I don't even know what the Gaping Dragon drops. I just want to take him out and get souls. And just have, uh... Peace of mind that I'm killing the bosses. So, instead of having you watch me being lost hopelessly... You know, for as much as I hate the depths, and I hate the depths, it does have a really neat aesthetic going on, like, it looks like the sewers of a crazy zombie-filled demon magic area. 
things are crystallized and corroded and everything's like shiny and weird looking. So we're gonna fight this gaping dragon. Probably the ugliest thing you fight in the game. I mean, Jesus, look at that thing. I'm not sure if it was a dragon that was trapped down here or if it has a story at all, but it's an ugly ass thing. I really hope I don't die here, because I do not want to have to run all the way back. Look at all them teeth. You know what they say about monsters with a lot of teeth. Let's see if uh, how weak it is to fire. <laughs> the gaping dragon's kind of dumb, I think. Not dumb as in like, oh, you're d like, as in not intelligent. So I'm pretty sure you can just... Oh, wow, it does not hit hard at all. I did not see where it went, and I got really nervous. Man, that's like... It's like an ugly vagina. Stabby, stabby. I want out of these deaths. Please make it easy on me. Ooh, no, not doing that. Not feeling it. You're not gonna be able to. You can summon Solar for this fight. Uh, you may even be able to summon somebody else, but I don't really know why you would, because this. This fight is not difficult at all, even if. I've never even developed a strategy for it, because I just. You get hit by that, and I'm sure that's devastating when you're low level, but. I've never come here early enough for. Gosh, as I'm saying it, like, he's decided that it's over, and he's just gonna rock my face off. So. Oh my gosh. This is a thing that has never happened before. Alright, so remember when I... Somehow the dragon heard me. Heard me talking ish. And it had decided to actually try to kill me. Now we can go to Blight Town if we weren't already through there. Good thing these things drop homeward bones. Can you get some some stuff near? I feel like there's one more item. But let's get During our cleanup of the various bosses that I have neglected to kill. You can actually go back to the Undead Asylum where you began the game and take out those bosses as well. It is somewhat tricky to get there though. <clears throat> From the Fire League Shrine, take that elevator, get a roll onto this. Look at, look at, she's just so, she's just so large. She's a strong black woman and she's proud. I don't even know what item is over there. I don't think... I feel like it's a weapon. <clears throat> so you head up here. Do, do, do. Curl up like a ball. And this... First time you do it, you have to wait a little while. And this bird comes and gets you. If you recall this crow from the very beginning of the game, it's the crow that takes you from the Undead Asylum to the Firelink Shrine. His name is Smugly. Or her name. I think it's a she. And I think she has little baby birds. Little nest eggs. It's a nice slow-mo shot. Back in the end of Asylum, if it loads. Oh, 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 oh. I like that it still makes the armor effect sound of you falling. So once you're back here, the enemies are a bit tougher. They carry fire now. But they are no match for us. I'm not sure in what order you're supposed to do this. The enemies aren't that tough, but the Stray Demon, the boss of the level, is very difficult. But one thing of note in this area, if you head... If I actually go the right direction. If you head this way, over here... She freaks me out. <clears throat> and you drop various items, you can get 
stuff in return. Uh, some of it is very neat, like you can get tight night slabs, tight night chunks. Pretty useful stuff, so. Now that you're back here, you can explore some of the stuff a bit more. You can get the peculiar doll, and you can kill the straight demon for a tight night slab. I'm also here for the rusted iron ring, which is what I'm going to be looking for, so. Once I. So this is how you encounter the straight demon. Unfortunately, you basically lose a ton of health upon the fall, but we might be alright. So fighting the straight demon is exactly the same as fighting the, uh, demon from before. You gotta be careful, though, because he does crap like that that you can't seem to dodge. You also gotta be careful, because apparently you'll just swing and miss. Some of his moves are a huge pain in the ass. We can probably... Yeah, it's like stuff like that, and you can't really... Shooting magic everywhere. You just gotta stay back. We're gonna chuck fire at this guy, because... As long as you got a good shield... I realized for a long time I was using... Oh my gosh, a garbage shield. And I should have been using the Hollow Soldier Shield. Oh, oh, bleh. oh my gosh. I am looking a fool. Yeah. I can't believe that crap hits you from so far away. Alright. This is going less than well, so we're going to actually get aggressive here. Stab him in the butt. Alright, getting aggressive. Not doing so hot. Gosh. Perhaps if I actually knew how to fight it, If I want to stop sucking at any time, that'd be great. Damn. Get my butthole kicked in. Alright. That went well. Let's, uh, come back to this guy. I'm not... And we're back. Sadly, you can't summon anybody for this fight. And I never kindled that fire, apparently. Yeah, we're gonna get our souls back. Apparently you always gotta fall there. I don't know if there's a way to not do that. So now we have... We encountered Oscar from the beginning of the game. And lucky for us, he drops a sword or a shield that blocks magic fairly effectively. So now we can hang back and just chuck fire at this dude and... I won't have any problems at all. Everything's gonna go great. Chuck fire right at his butt until we run out. Oh my god, this fight's going so much better. I've had it. I have him caught in some sort of logic loop. Oh, he can't handle all the fire in his butt. The man's got hemorrhoids. Eventually, we will have to engage him in Mortal Kombat. Okay, I'll take that hit. Whoop. Alright. Stamina was not fully ready for that. We can wear this guy down. Especially when he does that. Shouldn't have done that. That's all right. Switching over to stabbing him in the butt. If he lands on you, you're gonna get wrecked. But oh well, if you don't suck, you can stab him like 30 times. So that crest shield blocks, I think, like 80% of the damage. As long as your stamina's up, you'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh. This guy can't even hang with me now. 
All I do is change my tactics slightly and he can't handle it. That's the main theme of the game if you haven't learned is if you've got the right gear, you're fine. You're gonna kill everything. Like this guy that pretty much wrecked my b-hole the last time really can't hang with me. And we're gonna stab him a bunch. And now you get a Titanite Slab, so now my Lightning Spear will become even more powerful. And that'll nearly do it, except we have to find the Rusted Iron Ring. So I'll be doing that off camera. If you go back to your cell the entire way, uh, it's guarded by a Black Knight. I also ran into a Silver Knight on accident. I also got hopelessly, hilariously lost. Uh, you can get the Peculiar Doll, and then you can go to the Painted World of Ariamis. So, coming here definitely has its uses. And just like that, we are done with this horrid, horrid place. Never to come back. The asylum holds nothing else for us. We've got our Titanite's lab, we got our peculiar doll and our rusted iron ring. And it's back. Remember that item from earlier that I was like, I don't even know what that item is, and then I just completely ignored it? Yeah, it's the key that we need. So we need this, and then we have to make our way back. Oh, I think I just... What did I just do? We're gonna try to get back up there, and I think I'm gonna fail. Oh, okay, cool. Is this... Can I get back up? No. So, and then we'll, then we'll go back to the end of the asylum. Is that fellow still there? I don't know if I missed any other items in this. 